Welcome to the first full day at the Euros. Here are my three favorite bets for Saturday. Switzerland, plus 125 against Hungary. The Swiss were incredibly impressive during qualifying, had a plus two expected goal differential per 90 minutes. They have an incredibly experienced squad that's been playing together for the last two international tournaments. They've been facing a ton of low blocks throughout qualifying and have been very effective at breaking them down, which is exactly what they are going to face against this Hungarian side. And if you take Hungary out of their low block, they're a terrible transition team. They're not good at counterpressing, and they're even the worst set piece defense in this entire tournament. So I think Switzerland's really set up well here to get three points off the jump. So I love them at plus 125. Next up, Spain versus Croatia, like under two and a half goals at minus 135. Spain is the most possession dominant team in this entire field. They didn't hold under 67% possession during the entire Euro qualifying process, but that doesn't mean they do much with it. Yes, they broke down teams like Georgia and Cyprus, but they really struggled against Scotland's low block, and that's what they're going to face here against Croatia. Croatia is a really good defensive team. They have an outstanding midfield. They only allowed 0.58 expected goals per 90 minutes during qualifying. The problem with Croatia is they don't have much of an offense to speak of. How you beat Spain is in transition. Croatia has one of the lowest direct speeds. They don't have wingers that you can beat you in 1v1 situations. And their strikers, quite frankly, are old and slow. So they can't take advantage of the one weakness that Spain has defensively. So I think we have a very low event, very slow type of match. So like under two and a half goals at minus 135. And finally, Italy versus Albania, under two and a half goals at minus 135. Another very slow, low event type match. Albania plays a very compact low block but once they're in that low block in the final third they're very good at man marking and putting pressure on the ball to not allow their opponents to get easy passes right into the penalty area although italy's offense has been improving under luciano spalletti this is a really good defensive side they're going to face that only allowed four goals during qualifying the flip side is though is albania has really no attack to speak of they primarily relied on a couple transition opportunities and goals from outside the box during qualifying well, Italy under Spalletti in his six matches in charge only allowed 4.7 expected goals during qualifying. So I think we have a very low event type match here. So like under two and a half goals at minus 135.